Okay, this is Japan turn four. Uh, they're going to spend two dollars on their tech advancement because that was the role that they had. They're going to spend eighteen dollars on three tanks, eight dollars on a new destroyer, fifteen dollars on a new air base, and they're going to save four dollars for the next turn. Uh, they do have a number of attacks to declare. Many of them are walk ins, but there will actually be three rolls. So here are the walk ins first and foremost. So first off, the infantry in Saka will take Buryatia with uh, a walk-on. One of the infantry in Amur will walk into Ulan Batar. One of the or the infantry in Manchuria will walk into Buyant Uha. Um, and one of the infantry from Shahar will walk into Central Mongolia. Uh, there will be an attack on Sui Yuan from one infantry from Shahar, uh, and then. Uh, one uh, tack from Manchuria and two tacks from Jehol, all doing target select on that guy. Um, let me just double check, make sure I got that correct. Uh, yes, I do. Okay, um, now uh, there will be an infantry from Hopei doing a walk on in Shenzhen. There will be um, four infantry, three artillery, and one mechanized infantry into Kwai Chow. Uh, along with three tanks and a tactical bomber. Uh, into Yunnan, we will have two infantry, um, four uh, fighters, and one tactical bomber uh, against the... Um, oh, you can't see what's going on down there, sorry. Um, down here in Yunnan, okay? Uh, so it's uh, two infantry, one tack, four fighters going up against that... Um, uh, cavalry unit okay uh, I think that's all the attacks so most of these as I said are walk-ons but we do need to roll three of them so I'll set those up on the board right now it's battle for Sui Yuan uh, the Japanese are coming in with a single infantry but three tactical bombers all of which will be making a target select on the lone Chinese infantry so we'll write we'll roll the tactical bombers first Two hits. Uh, they only need one, so there is no defense for the Chinese infantry, and the Japanese take the territory with no casualties. We battle for Kwai Chow. This is kind of overkill, uh, but we have four infantry, uh, two of which are supported by artillery, one mechanized infantry supported by artillery, three artillery. Um, three tanks and a tactical bomber using target select. So this could be over very, very quickly if the tack bomber hits. So it missed though. So the Chinese uh, unit is gonna get a chance to roll defense, but I suspect this will be a one round battle. Two hits, three hits, four hits, sorry. Four hits, one, two, three, four. So, uh, Let's see if the Japanese can, or the Chinese can uh, inflict a casualty. They did not. Okay, so battle over. No Japanese forces lost. Battle for Yunnan. Japanese are coming in with two infantry, four fighters, and a tactical bomber, which will be using its target select on the cavalry. So here we go. Mess. Okay, so the cavalry is going to get a chance to defend, but I suspect it will only be alive for this round. And it got killed three times. So it does get a chance to shoot back. And misses. Okay, so once again, we're detecting a theme for this round. Japan takes the territory with no casualties. Okay, let's do some non-combat for Japan. The three tactical bombers that took place on the attack on Sui Yuan are going to go to Shahar. The artillery from Jehol is going to come forward to Buyant Uha. Um, all of the material in Manchuria, so that's two fighters and a, an anti-aircraft, is going to go to Korea. Two infantry from Amur are going to go to Korea. And the f two fighters from Jehol are going to go to Korea. Um, down here in the south, uh, the tactical bomber that participated in the Kwai Chow attack is going to land in Hunan. 
The four fighters and tactical bomber that participated in the Yunnan attack are going to land in Hunan. And the bomber uh, from Hunan, which was um, an air transport but is now a bomber again, uh, is going to fly up to Korea and join the forces there. Um, there is some naval movement as well. One of the transports in C-Zone 6 is going to be loaded up with an infantry and an artillery, and they will be making steam down to C-Zone 36 and unloading in Guangxi. Uh, the other transport in the C-Zone is being accompanied by a destroyer and is going to go down uh, from C-Zone 6 to C-Zone 33 with a single infantry. Uh, the... One of the two transports that was in C-Zone 33 is going to go to C-Zone 34, pick up the guy from Palau, and bring him back to C-Zone 33. So I think that's all of the movements, and uh, as soon as I tidy up the board, we'll be back with placements and income. Okay, um, so for placements for Japan... No huge surprise there. The three tanks are going into the factory in Kiangsu on the mainland. The new destroyer is going into C-Zone 6. And the air base is going into Korea. I'm guessing he wants to create some sort of a double scramble idea if C-Zone 6 gets attacked. Okay, um, so let's adjust the um, money situation. First and foremost, they're going to take a dollar away from the Russians. Buryatia. So if we make the adjustment there, the Russians go from 33 to 32, the Japanese go from 34 to 35. And then there is uh, a fair amount of Chinese territory changing hands. Sui Yuan is 1, Shanxi is 1, Kui Chao is 2, and Hunan, or Yunnan is 1. So that's 1, 3, 4, 5 IPCs swing. So we're going to go from 35 to 40, and China is going to go down from 8 to 3. Okay, uh, in terms of income, that means that the uh, Japanese have a base income of $40. Uh, they kept $4 from last turn, and probably, well, almost certainly for the last time this game, they're going to be collecting that $10 for not being at war with the United States. Uh, so they will put $54 in their treasury for the next turn uh, in preparation for turn four. Okay, let's go around to the other side of the board so that we can do our disposition of forces. All right, let's start up in the north. In the Soviet Far East, there is a single infantry. In Amur, there are four infantry and two artillery. In Buryatia, there is a single infantry. In Ulan Batar, there is a single infantry. In Buyant Yuha, uh, the uh, Mongolian territory, there's an infantry and an artillery. And in central Mongolia, there's a single infantry. In Korea, uh, there are two infantry, a an anti-aircraft artillery uh, looks like, let me just double check, I think four planes, four fighters, four fighters, and one tactical bomber, uh, along with a brand new air base that was just purchased. Uh, in C-Zone 6, there are two destroyers, two cruisers, two battleships, one fully loaded carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber, and that's it. Uh, in Japan itself, there are three infantry and three anti-aircraft artillery. Uh, moving on to the mainland into China. If we zoom out a smidge here so we can see all of this. In Sui Yuan, there's an infantry. In Shahar, there are two infantry and three, anti er, three uh, tactical bombers. In Shenxi, there's an infantry. In Kui Chao, there are four infantry, three artillery, one uh, mechanized infantry and three tanks. In Yunnan, there are two infantry. In Hunan, there are two infantry and two artillery, along with uh, two tactical bombers and four fighters. In Kuangxi, 
there is a, uh, an infantry and an artillery. Uh, in Siam, down here, there are four infantry and uh, what was a transport, but uh, it's now no longer a transport, it's a strategic bomber. Um, oh, did I mention? I think I mentioned the strategic bomber up in uh, Korea as well. Um, okay, in C Zone uh, 36, there is a transport and a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and attack bomber. In C Zone 33, there are three transports, three destroyers, two submarines, and a fully loaded carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber. In the Carolines, there are one, two, three, four, there are five infantry and one tank, along with um, one uh, anti-aircraft artillery. So I think that should be it for the Japan turn. The Americans are going to be up next. Okay, one quick Japan correction. Um, he meant in non-combat to move the two guys from Shahar into Suiyuan. Uh, so we're going to do that now. So there are no infantry in Shahar and three infantry in Suiyuan. Uh, but there are still three um, uh, attack bombers in Shahar.